Well, hello there, Shelly Rocks here. So, Lord of Dwarves, I thought I'd uh, fire this up and take a look at chapter three on this now. So, uh, Citadel Three Watchtower. So, uh, the Northwest Passage into Rigid Llama. <laughs> Okay, welcome to the Northwest Passage. The area is close to the land of the Goblinkin. You've been tasked with building a watchtower to keep an eye out for any intruders. Okay, all right, you've got now our dwarf laborer. You'll need to specialize them to get any work done. Carpenters build crafts in the carpentry workshop, where builders build workshops and employ features. Oh, in place features. You need a bit of each to get any work done. So, click on the dwarves button at the top. Whoa, that is a big skill tree. Okay, um, in the profession column, give your dwarves the following professions. Wow, how does that, how much does this remind me of uh, like Rimworld and um, oh, Dwarf Fortress? So I need two carpenters. So these two can be carpenters. I don't know if they're skilled in carpentry. Um. I could look on that if I turn my head sideways, but I'm just going to do them in the order that they're in. So we've got two carpenters. We've got two farmers. Okay, that's one farmer. And that's another farmer. And we also need two builders. So where are the builders? Brewer? No. Builder? Yes. There's two... Bi no, no. Builder? No. Builder? There we go. Uh, we also need three hunters. I was about to say we've not got enough dwarves to do this, but it does actually look like it scales down. There's more hidden units below. Uh, after the hunter, we need a cook. And then we need a rancher. I wonder if a rancher is like someone that looks after the horses. Um, then we need a stonemason. Okay, where are you? There you go. Uh, and three labourers. Well, we've got five labourers there, I think. Excellent. Okay, next. Now that the dwarves know what tasks will do, uh, you should be getting on. You should work on gathering some base resources. So I guess I'm going to need stone and wood. So check the side objectives for a list of resources to get. Okay, so I need logs, rocks, turnip, and rain roots. Okay, you also need a lot of furniture. Um, build some workshops. You also need a lot of furniture to build workshops later on. Conveniently, you can order your craft dwarves to automatically craft more when you run low on an item. Okay, click on the carpentry workshop. Right, I can get rid of this skill at the moment. So, we need the carpentry workshop. Is that that one? So, what do we do in this one? We need to click on that. Select chair. Then next to maintain craft button, change the value to four. So that's that on five. Uh, click maintain craft. Okay, I guess that means we're always going to have four in stock. Um, also maintain the following craft. So we need three tables. So we'll do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we also need three tool racks. Where's that one? That one. Mm-hmm. And one log rack. Okay. And a bit, two bins. You can never have enough bins. Two. Maintain. Repeat these crafts. Stone picks times 18. Ah, that's quite interesting. What are the differences between the two then? Does that mean I'm just I'm just gonna make a stack of 18 stone picks? I'm I'm guessing. Um, wait a minute. I can't make stone picks. Am I missing it? Um, there's definitely no stone picks on there. Is that on a different, uh, maybe that's a different, uh, building. Let's have a little look, see. Carpentry workshop. Oh, so interestingly enough, the, 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 the skills aren't shared between them. Maybe I need to get some stone first, and then I'll be able to uh, do that. Right, so we do need to uh, get some uh, resources mined. Uh, you also need some soldiers. Okay, so you can permanently promote a dwarf into a soldier. 
don't make too many soldiers. Uh, click the military tab at the top. Click the soldiers tab. Um, click the promote civilians to soldier button. That one. Okay, and then I've got to find two laborers and choose promote. Right, so the laborers are at the bottom. So, um, forge born and drin. Promoting them to a soldier will gain one resilience. Oh, so you can choose what you want them to do. Hmm, choose melee, it says. I will do that then. So, Drin, you get promoted as well. Now, if we click next, now place those soldiers in a squad. So, go to militia again, uh, soldiers again. Then we're going to make a new squad. And I'm guessing we just drag these in. And change the name of the new squad to Tower. Tower Guard. Okay. And change the squad uniform to Soldier, which it's already on that. And then drag them in. I've done that. Okay, that's. I like the uh, drag and drop, uh, like what you see is what you get interface for that. That's pretty cool. There seems to be a lot of deer and wolves in the area. Let's get some of your dwarves a hunting. Keep in mind, hunters only go hunting if they have ranged weapons. Okay, so we need to get now go to the civilians tab on here and we need to promote a couple of these to uh, hunting, I guess. So click the military tab at the top, click civilians, then military sub tab. Hmm, militia sub tab? Yeah, change the name of militia squad to hunters. Okay, and change the squad uniform to skirmisher. This will make them equip javelins. Oh, okay. And I gotta got got drag the hunters into here. Oh, cool. So they're the hunters I got before. Nice. Use the animals window to have your hunters automatically seek out, seek out and hunt any animals that come into the area. Oh, okay. I've not been in this tab before. So this is the animals tab. Um, under the animals tab, change the hunt day for deer to three. So that means hunting three. Oh yeah, okay. So that means we're going to hunt three wild animals every day. Also change the hunting day for wolf to one. Oh, I don't know if we want to be hunting wolves, but... Okay, it'll take a bit of time before your doors bring in some game with those javelins. Why don't you create a storage area for the animals? When they do arrive while you're at it, create another storage area for weapons. Okay, so now we need to try and remember how we do all of this. So, oh, it's actually telling us. So we need a storage area for weapons and a storage area for, um, what was the other one for? Animals. Okay, uh, let's just do, that can be my storage area for uh, animals. And then I'm going to do another storage area up. I'm going to do it right up here. This is where the weapons are going to be. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now you'll be needing a hunter's workshop so you can craft more javelins for your hunters. You'll also need a butcher's workshop to help you get some useful resources. Find a hunter's workshop under the basic workshop button. Right. So if we come out of that. Now it was under here. So we need a hunter's workshop. So we do need stuff for this. So we're not going to be able to make this straight away, I don't think. I'm going to stick that up there. Um, craft the resources you are missing. Okay, so I'm missing a table, a chair, log rack, and bin. That's all going to get queued up, so we're okay. And then find the butcher's workshop under the advanced tool shop workshop. Now, where was that one then? So that's basic workshop. Where is the advanced one? I right, will come out of that. Was it in this one? No, that's all basic, basic stuff in that one. That's traps, storage area, guard post. Ooh, interesting enough. I can't remember how to get the advanced one up. Um, basic workbench. 
difference. None of them. Let's unpause it a little bit. Let's see if they actually do, do anything at the moment. So we have got quite a few of them hauling the weapons. We've got a lot of javelins. There's all sorts of various things I need to do. I need to get, get all these uh, harvesting things harvested. Like we need um, need wood, we need trees. So let's start designating some stuff. Um, we need to fell some trees. I'm just going to tag a load of them and a load of them. And we also need to harvest. Now, can we harvest the bushes? I don't think we can. There's a way of doing that. Let me cancel that. It was this one. So we do need to get some of these boulders tagged. Yeah, that's a few of them tagged. So we're going to need the wood to process and all of these to get uh, stuff made. And then I just need to figure out how to get this advanced uh, workshop built. Okay, he's busy making stuff. What's he making at the moment? Can we click on it and see what he's making? I think he'd be making chairs because that's the top thing. Let's see. There we go. Nice, we've got a chair. Now, are these off hunting? They certainly look like they're hunting. Oh, look, they did. They hunted something. They just hunted a deer. And they're off hunting more stuff. Right, so. I need to find the butcher's workshop. It just says it's under the advanced workshop button. I completely can't remember where it is. Because there's my basic one. Um, can we switch to advanced? Oh, hang on. Is it? It's, it's in these. There you go. Oh, I'm such a noob. Right. Butcher workshop. Let's get one of these uh, yoink down. Mm-hmm. If I can click on it. No. I was trying to remember how to actually rotate it, and I've completely forgotten how. <laughs> so we're not rotating it. We're sticking it down there. Right, we still need um, various bits and pieces. We need three tables still and some bins. Now, it's a shame you can't share the jobs between all of these because I have actually got two carpenters, but I've only got one doing anything at the moment. So I guess... I could tag one of these and get some of these to help out, so... Now, there was a type of, um... Pickaxe I couldn't be I couldn't make just yet. But let's help this one out. Let's, uh, let's make a couple of bins. Let's do... You make two bins. And let's see how we get on with that. He's making a U bin, apparently. Oh, and also we need to harvest various bits and pieces. So we need we need more rocks. That's a given. I might just cheat a little bit. Well, not cheat, but I'm just going to tag a load of rocks like that. Right, and now we need turnips. These, oh, rain root, we need that. So we need 50 rain root. So I think that's turnip as well. So we need that and that. You know what? Let's just... <laughs> Let's just harvest a lot of that. This is the rain ruse as well, so we're going to get a load of that. Nice. I do like the animations in this game. It does look pretty nice when you can uh, yeah, zoom right in and see them doing the craft. Okay, so we are busy crafting at the moment. i got me two carpenters busy. Oh, stone tool workshop. This is what I needed. Right, so we needed to make some pickaxes, didn't we? I'm not too sure how many we needed, so I'm just going to make, try and make five. Dwarf stout. Mmm, delicious. Delicious. 
Right, so this is all getting stocked up with wood. Load of wood over there. Stones over there. Fox glove. Oh no, that's turnips. We do need turnips. I think I've, ta I've tagged a load of turnips, but you can never have enough turnips in life. Okay, we should really... Uh, should, I was going to say we should really speed this up, but I've just remembered one thing I needed to uh, change before I start, started this video. I've actually bound my record key to plus, which I don't know. Can I, can I change? Right, let's, let's have a little... Let me have a little look. Can I change my controls? I need to change my speed. Uh, increase. Hang on. Increase game speed is also plus. So let's unpause it. Yes. Yes. We can speed it up like that. Woohoo. That was nearly a terrible <laughs> accident when I was going to stop recording. And probably not notice and talk to myself for like 20 minutes. Okay. So we've got some pickaxes getting made. We've got some grog getting drunk. We still need... Ah, oh, look at all the poor little... Uh, dead deer. I think that was a talking rabbit. Right, two bins we need, three tables. And we need a log rack for that one. Right, how's the production going on this one? We're making the bin still. Right, let's make a... Uh, let's make a log rack. Let's do it. Let's just make one. Come on, let's go crazy. Uh, that's it, just one. I only need one. This one's still busy. He's making chairs at the moment. Now, have I got a... I don't think I've got a stockpile for furniture. I think really I, I should really uh, build one of them. Let's, uh, let's build a storage area for furniture. Uh, there you go. Just to get all this stuff moved. I don't know if you need to get it moved from the area or not, but we're getting it moved. I like drinking all my beer. We've got a real lack of ro rocks getting gathered at the moment now. I don't know why uh, that's so difficult to uh, mine. Let's get all these tagged. Pretty sure I tagged all these boulders before. Okay, let's slow this down a little bit. So, what's this need at the moment? We need three tables. You're making chairs. Oh, we've actually run out of logs. How the heck have we run out of logs so quick? Right, you know what? Log Geddon. <laughs> let's see if that's enough logs for you. There we go. There's going to be plenty of logs. Running low on drink. Now, didn't we have a well before? Do we need to like build another one? Um, I think I may need a well. Manual pump. Hmm. I don't think that's it. It's a well. I think we need. Um, let's stick the well down there. Now, what do we need to make the well? We need well basin, well roof, and a bucket. Why have we not got any of these items? And it's nothing in there. How the heck do we make a, um, the equipment for a, a well? So we need a, a well roof. That was one of them. I think the other thing was like a rope. Let's have a little look. So we need roof, a well basin. Now, a basin sounds like that's going to be something that's made in the uh, stone thing. It's not though. We're going to make one of those pumps as well. I do, I do think we'll need one of those at some point. So we're looking for any well equipment. So we've got well roof. And that is it. Let's have a little look. Is there any other basic buildings I've not made? 
Uh, there's an assembly workshop. I've not made one of those yet. Hmm. Bit confused what I actually need to make for that. That's uh, That sucks. Right, we've got enough for the hunter's workshop now anyway, at least. So we're going to get that finished. We do need a lot more uh, water and stuff. Oh, we need 18 picks as well. We've quite clearly not made 18 of those. So how many have we made? We've made five, so we need another 13. Okay, so... It's the well that's confusing me at the moment. I need to make uh, a bucket and rope, but I can't seem to see that on any of my uh, items at the moment. No, I'm definitely not imagining that. Uh, we have got a... There is a, a, a building I've not built yet, which was the stonemason workshop. Now, is that... Classed as the same as that, though. We've got a stone tools workshop. We're going to plunk one of these down. Um, we're going to need quite a lot of materials for this, though. Um, we're going to stick it over here. Nope. Does it need to be flatter land? I guess so. So we're going to need a few materials for that. We need, we need uh, three tables at the moment. That's what we're really uh, struggling with. Let's uh, queue some tables up with you and speed this up a little bit. Now we're actually building the uh, hunter's thing now, which is good. Ooh, now, what can we make in this? Mainly food, it looks like. We can make uh, javelins as well. Should we do a maintain craft of, say, five on that one? Make sure we've always got javelins. We've got quite a few over there, I think. Okay. Lots and lots of stuff still needs uh, harvesting. We're still crafting now. That's the main thing. Slowly but surely. I mean, we've got all the wood there. We just this. It all needs carrying over. Come on, work faster. Nice, he just made some javelins. And that's the well roof by the look of it. I don't know what's making that sound. It doesn't sound uh doesn't sound healthy though. We're very low on drink at the moment now. All right, how's the uh, how's this going? I think we are actually just constantly making stuff. I think it's just the trouble that it's seems to be that it's uh, it looks like it's not doing anything, but it is. And I don't know if it's progressing through them properly though, because I wanted four chairs, three tables, and I don't know if we're actually making it properly or not. Okay, so where's the other building I was building? So we were building the uh, stonemason workshop. We need two bins for that. Three stones, a hammer, and a chisel. Now, we need a hammer and a chisel. So let's get a hammer made. Let's get a chisel made. And I think that's pretty much it for that. Oh, yeah, we did need another... Uh, we did need another uh, two bins... So, if you can quickly make me a couple of bins. There you go. Okay. So, some of us are busy and some of us are not so busy. <laughs> we actually do need... Uh, I need a lot more of these rocks mining, though. I think that's selected.
Now, I don't think I can produce meat from the uh, this hunter's workshop. We're going to cancel the javelins for now, so we've got loads. Um, goat treat, kiwi treat, llama treat. I don't really understand what any of them are, so we're gonna not we're not gonna do any of them at the moment. I want to finish making these things so I can get these buildings made. I still need two bins. Uh, you're making it. Let's cancel out of a table and just make some bins. And I need grog. Definitely need grog. We've got this rain route here. I wonder if, uh, I wonder if we'll get any uh, resources. From, what do we actually get when we harvest the rain route? It looks like it's a little bit of drink there, actually. Ah, uh, little bunny. I think I've gone a bit crazy harvesting <laughs> the, the logs there, but we're still doing it. We needed 40 logs gathering. Right. Have you made those two bins? No, you have not. So we need someone to take the wood over here. Oh no, you're taking it there instead. It's probably because I've not got enough uh, labourers to uh, do this stuff at the moment. See, he's getting all the good stuff. Right, we've got a weapon rack there. A U tool, a U tool rack. Now, where's my other carpenter gone? Have we actually got two carpenters? We should have. We've got two. We've got Rain and Neville. I do not know where the other one has vanished to. Is that you? Are you going to make stuff? So they get, they're getting liquid from these things. Look, the, the rainwater we're actually uh, gathering. So they're not drowning there. Well, they're not, drown they're not drowning. <laughs> they're not running out of a uh, drink. Right, I need bins, and I'm not getting bins at the moment, so I'm going to cancel all this other stuff and make me my bins. Well, hopefully we're going to make bins, because I don't know where the other uh, carpenter's gone. He seems to be drunk or asleep. I don't know where he's gone. I'm just looking to make some bins. That is all. All right, go on, take the wood. Oh, look, now he's appeared, look. Now I'm going to have too many bins. Okay, excellent. We should get two bins out of this. And that should be enough to finish off uh, the uh, butcher's workshop. I can start processing some of this meat, hopefully. Come on. And put the tables in there. The terrible position in the what? <laughs> How is that even in the building site? Three tables, two bins, and a knife we need for this, apparently. And we're running low on drink again. Uh, have we got any more rain route handy? Uh, there's, there's quite a lot of it over here. Okay, let's go hopefully get this building finished now. Wool bandages. Oh, nice. I didn't even know I was even making them. Okay, get this butcher's table made. Excellent. 
Let's pause this. So we've actually managed to make that now. What next? With the Hunter's Workshop done, your Hunters will be hunting more Javelins. Oh, I did actually make some more Javelins but below. Um, we've not gotten it in the moment, but we, we have got some. Okay, now I've got to... But apparently I can butcher some deer. So if we click on that, and then we choose butcher deer, then do we have to do maintain craft? Okay, maintain craft. Okay, once you've done the sinew, we can make some short bows. Okay. We'll need to make some arrows too. Okay, so we're chopping up a deer here. We're going to get the sinew off it and the meat, I think. Nice. Okay, uh, the tannery workshop. I need to build a tannery workshop, apparently. Let's make one of them. Is that an advanced one? And it makes sense to sort of try and stick it near the butchery. So we'll stick that there. And what do we need for that? Tables. So we need more tables. And cancel the bins. I'm going to do uh, three tables. So we'll do that. One, two, three, like that. Okay, so we're carrying on butchering all of them. Uh, making the tannery as well. That's going to take a while to do. Okay, should we do another... Um, let's do another table up here for this one. Just so it's a little bit quicker. Two of them doing it. Okay, all the deer are getting uh, harvested now. Let's go to next. Okay, now you've made all the picks. I can now make a mining depot where I can use picks. Without them, your dwarves will not be able to mine stone. Oh, okay. So let's go and make this then. Oh, got access to an expert one there as well. Let's do the... I still want to make a well. I do not know how to make the well though. Actually... I have got a carpentry workshop. I don't think I built an assembly workshop yet. Have I got one queued up, an assembly workshop? I don't think I have. Mm. You know what? An assembly workshop sounds like something. You know, you assemble a bucket. Let's see. Right, so we're going to need some bits for all these. I need hammers. I think I need a hammer for there as well. Uh, and chisel. We don't seem to be really um, crafting anything with the stone workshop at the moment. We have got the stuff queued up. Uh, we have got logs. We have got picks. Okay, I've got that queued up anyway. There's a whole other world under your dwarves' feet. It's time to put your mind into some real work. Before you do any digging, try using the Alton Mouse Wheel to check. I did wonder this in the last video. So hang on. Use Alt and the Mouse Wheel. Uh, it's not it's not letting me it's not letting me select you see the up oh hang on you see that oh so you see the layer up there change scroll down in north and you'll start seeing unknown blocks whoa the heck am I actually going under the ground oh dear me um Okay, now it's time to carve a stairway in the depths. Be warned, you don't want to be digging too deep too fast. There'll be nasty creatures that live in the earth which you need to be armed and ready for. If you haven't made wood spears and bucklers for your soldiers, now would be a good time. <laughs> and then I need to do the carved... What the heck? So I get to go underground. Well, I think before I do that, I need to actually stop my people from dying at first. Um, I'm... Gathering as much of this rainwater as I can, but I really do need to get figure out how to get this uh, well built. So I need to get these buildings fixed, finished. So I do need more hammers and stone picks. Yeah, I need quite a lot of things actually. Let's do a stone saw as well. Don't know if I need one, but I'm gonna make one.
Okay, we're assembling the uh, tannery as well. And hopefully, you are going to finish mining that, and I'm going to get some uh, um, of the other items built. Right, so you should be making a hammer at the moment. So he says, hmm, ale. I don't think I can make ale. We're actually just drinking water at the moment. So once I dig, I need to dig to layer zero. Right, I think we've just made that hammer. So hopefully we're going to have enough to uh, get a few of these. We've got enough for the assembly workshop. That's getting built. Stone workshop, we need a chisel still. Make sure we've got this running as fast as possible. Okay, got more wood getting chopped. Oh, a wolf has appeared at the edge of the kingdom. Hopefully my soldiers are going to go and take care of that. And we do need to make some quivers as well. So let us go in here. This is the workshop, so... We needed to make um, a short bow, I believe. How many short bows? Four. So let us just craft. I'm just going to click on it and do four. And we need 100 arrows as well. So three arrows. Mm. Now, if I set that to maintain craft and 100, will that make 100 arrows or will that make 100 lots of three? I'm not sure. Um, let's just do repeat craft. So we know, we know it's three, three per lot. So if we do uh, 10 lots of three, that should give us 30. Actually, it's 10. Arrows times 10. Right, so if we do that to 100. No. Hang on. Yeah, that should make us 100 arrows, hopefully. Okay, and have we got the new thing now? The So we've got the butchery thing here. We're butchering the deer. We are waiting to build the... Oh, the tannery. We've actually got the tannery now. So we need to make a quiver. So we need three quivers. And that'll do for that. We are waiting for two bins. So let us... We'll just do the two of that one. And what else do we need? Uh, three tables. So one, two, three. And then what else do you need? Oh, yeah, we're going to need a load more. So we're going to need another two bins. So. And you're, you're going to be so busy making tables. And we still need a bucket. Will I ever discover how to make a bucket? <laughs> Let's speed this up. Now it's the assembly thing. I want to. I want to build the assembly workshop. So we need tables and bins for that. We've got loads of wood up there. In fact, let's have a little look. Have we got a storage pile for wood? Why have I not got a storage pile for wood? That would be like, sort of like incredibly handy. Oh, we can't really, uh, it's not really that big, that, that, that storage area. We're going to store wood in it, though. It's going to be next to the wood thing there. There we go. Hopefully not as far for you to go. Finally. I don't know why I didn't think to build that before. <laughs> oh, dear. So that means that's just so much easier for the uh, carpenter to get to this uh, area. Nice. So we've got a nice little uh, production thing going on. We do we do need our uh, our bins and stuff here though. That's not getting done at the moment. An awful lot of lazy sleeping going on with these dwarves.
Lots of items need hauling. Tell me about it. I mean, I could really do a, uh, a storage area over here for this one as well. So we've got wood on both of them. These are all trees, so I could tag all that. There we go. Not as far to go for the wood now. And then you like think, Shelly Rocks, why did you not do that 25 minutes ago? And speaking of 25 minutes ago, I'm going to pause this now because I've realised I've just totally got engrossed in this game and 40 minutes. So congratulations, you win my thanks for watching this long. Uh, I'm really enjoying watch. I'm really enjoying playing this game. That is really cool. The fact that I can actually go under the ground, I am just like super excited in my pants to go underground. It's just really good I actually just want to say uh, hi to the developer as well because uh, the developer contacted me said that it was really um, useful for him to spot a few little bugs um, that he'd actually noticed while I was uh, playing this uh, which I thought thought was quite funny the fact that I'd not actually noticed any bugs myself when I actually uh, I actually sort of test for a living so yeah whoops <laughs> anyway that's that's gonna be it for now so uh hopefully you guys enjoy watching this series i'm gonna carry on with this in another video because i could literally play this for about five hours so yeah i don't i don't want to keep the video on for too long i've already gone 10 minutes over so yeah so that's it for now i'm shaley rocks and i will see you next time